Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing well tonight. We are doing another one in our series of obituaries or remembrances of people who have passed recently, particularly artists and musicians. This is a young woman named Zahara. She is from South Africa. She passed very young, I believe 36 or 37 years old. She, unbeknownst to myself and probably a lot of you guys and gals who are watching right now, she was a very big pop star in South Africa. She, I think her first record went platinum down there, whatever that qualification may be in South Africa. You know, obviously it's not as big as the States. Uh, she, like I say, she died very young. She, it was huge news in South Africa. If you go on YouTube and put in her name, there's all kinds of videos about her funeral, all kinds of things. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to read the obituary from the Times underneath this performance that she's doing right now. I hope you enjoy the tunage. Rest in peace, Zahara. May your memory be a blessing. Zahara, the South African singer-songwriter whose soulful voice and heartfelt ballads earned her platinum-selling albums and multiple accolades in her country, died on Monday in a hospital in Johannesburg. She was 36. Her family confirmed her death on social media but did not cite a cause. The spokesman for South Africa's Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture said Zahara had been hospitalized for several weeks. My deepest condolences to the family and the South African music industry, the minister said on social media, adding that officials had been with the family for some time now. He continued, Zahara and her guitar made an incredible and lasting impact in South African music. She was born on November 9, 1987, in the village of Fumlani in Eastern Cape, South Africa and grew up listening to songs her mother played on the radio before discovering a love of singing. She became the lead singer of her Sunday school choir at six. Zahara began her singing career busking on the streets of her hometown. My name is Zahara. She said she had never received any formal musical training and taught herself the guitar. There's a difference between a gift and a talent, she said in an interview in 2021. I'm gifted, not talented. Her father gave her the stage name Zahara, which means blooming flower in Arabic, she said in the same interview. Beginning with her debut album, Loliwi, in 2011, Zahara's music drew critical acclaim and found success on the music charts. Nelson Mandela invited her to his private residence to perform a bedside concert before his death in 2013. Her most recent album, Enkaba Yam, was released in 2021. Zahara, who sang in both English and Josha, her native language, was known for her husky and heartfelt voice, often compared to those of Tracy Chapman and India Ari, and her acoustic instrumentals. Her collaborations with titans of Africa's music industry, like the singing group Ladysmith Black Mambazo, the musician Robbie Malinga, and the Nigerian singer-songwriter Tu Baba cemented her place in contemporary African soul music. She was named one of the BBC's 100 Women of 2020. Through her lyrics, she spoke of her faith, her struggles, and her dreams. She described her songs as stories of her experiences and thoughts. I write about my life, she said in an interview in 2022. If you want to know mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally where I'm at, where I'm centered, go get my albums. Zahara's younger brother was murdered in 2014, after which she said she went through a period of depression. In 2021, her older sister died in a car accident. Over the years, she spoke publicly about her struggle with alcohol addiction. Zahara campaigned for female victims of violence in South Africa, which she said she experienced when she was in her 20s. Prayer has kept me going through this difficult time, she told the BBC. Nothing can beat prayer. Rest in peace, Sahara. May your memory be a blessing.